Okay. I don't know why I didn't want to start a new recording there. Alright. But canonic canonically. Canonically, Liu Kang also won the second tournament. In fact, actually, I think he won all three tournaments. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Sub -Zero. Classic Sub-Zero. <laughs> Taking the novice. I need a novice. It doesn't actually change the difficulty, just how many people you got to fight. Round one, fight! <laughs> We we'll start off with the classic rivalry, Sub Zero and Scorpion. <laughs> Definitely, I could see a difference in the difficulty because it's also starting to at the bottom of the ladder. See if this one we can get past. Some point later, probably off stream when I can spend maybe as much time as I want on it a longer time. I gotta go back and I'm gonna I gotta get a dominant video or you know video completing that Mortal Kombat 2 ladder. I know I can do it. And I have no idea what his fatality is. He only has one fatality. Down, 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 back and Y. Sub -Zero Not enough time to pull it off. <laughs> Round one, fight. Oh, I didn't see what his... Oh, is there a stage fatality? No. This is one where they added a stage fatality in Mortal Kombat 9, but it wasn't in the original game. Plus, we uppercut it just goes up to Khan's lair. Sub -Zero wins. Wow, after doing all those fights with Shang Tsung, this feels just totally different. Feels like almost they're not trying. <laughs> but I know it's gonna get tougher as it goes along. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, I think he, he's supposed to reflect your projectiles. Sub Zero wins. Screwed up the fatality there. Round one, fight. Come on, come on. She's keeping her distance. Superb. Yeah, see, now they're starting to attack more. Probably wouldn't mind too, maybe going over all of Mortal Kombat history, but I don't have all of the games either. Why was I trying to do Johnny Cage's split punch? I, I spent so much time in Mortal Kombat 2. Which one? I, I think I was kind of underestimating Jade. Time though. Hey. 
Yeah, like I said with Mortal Kombat 1, this was more like that too, that it did kind of like reset. Just a little bit easier once you had to continue. Because again, they... This was another arcade release, so the whole idea was to keep you pumping in quarters. I don't know any of those pre-programmed combos. <laughs> It's something I never liked. I, I I like the idea of juggle combos more. Why is it? Yeah, I said the freeze wasn't working. One to one, Jade. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Try to get that for cut on her. It's always one of my favorite things of Sub Zero in any of the games was a like a jump kick followed immediately with a slide. Get it down, back three Round times, fight. and high punch. Superb. Older brother versus younger brother. <laughs> well done. The original versus, I guess you could say, the copycat. <laughs> Albanian Andy. Uh, which version are you playing? Thank you for stopping by. This is um, from the Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection on the Xbox 360. It's uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 too, if that's what you're asking. I hope you're having yourself a good day. As always, dude, thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, we both jumped at the same time. And I'm like, well, from jumping, you try to <laughs> hit him, but he had the same idea and got me first. Well done. I thought it was kind of cool. I didn't realize until like a little bit later. <laughs> The guy that played, well, both the Unmasked Sub-Zero and then the Masked Ninjas when they added him in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, John Turk, he made an appearance in the show Prison Break. I think he was in two episodes in season one. So that's something that's kind of cool. Sub-Zero. Round one. Fight. Come on, get the freeze off. There you go. Oh, he still caught me with that. Nice. Unfortunately, the PS3, Xbox 360 version are banned where I am. Like, oh, that kind of sucks. I'm assuming Albania, given your name. Why am I not? Yeah, the back and forward wasn't working for me for a second there. Still aren't able to pull up the fatality. Round one, fight. I know back with the, especially with the first Mortal Kombat game, John Turk also played in the Dark Knight too. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I didn't notice his name in the credits. Oh no, Germany. Ah, uh, caught you, Cyrax. That was a happy accident. 
But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there were certain lawmakers here in the U.S. that they had their way back in the day, especially with the first Mortal Kombat game. They would have tried to get a ban themselves like 20-something years ago. Hopefully, though, if having the game is banned over there, hopefully watching it isn't the same. <laughs> Don't want you to get in trouble for this, too. It sucks big time not being able to play the collection. Is it just the the arcade collection? Or is it all Mortal Kombat games that are banned over there? But also too, I don't even... I could be wrong, I don't think this game is a... Uh, this particular version, at least, is not available normally, at least here in the U.S. It might be, I don't know, but it, yeah, it came out many years ago, so it might be one of those things that's not available for purchase anymore. But yeah, I was just deciding to kind of revisit some old Mortal Kombat classics with the new game, Mortal Kombat 11, coming out in a couple weeks. So, damn you, Cyrax. Don't attack your Lin Kuei brother. <laughs> Let your Lin-Kuei brother attack you. Round <laughs> two, fight. Ooh, nice use of the teleport twice. I caught you that time, didn't I? Still missing fatality. I wish they put the PS2 games on PSN. Love those games. I don't know about the PSN, but uh, something I've mentioned before that I've... Based on... Um, what is it? Schematics. Blueprints that they've trademarked. There are rumors that the PlayStation 5 will be able to play... PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 4 games. I don't know if it means they want you to rebuy them in the store or if your old disc will work. But supposedly there's rumor that you will be able to play all the games from the old, all the old systems for PlayStation. Reptile wins. Eh, of you, Reptile. Fight. Yeah, so combos like that, I was never able to get them right. I think in the most, any particular one, I was able to get four, four hits. are so far wouldn't get hopes up we could still speculate though yeah no that's something i've said too i'm like it would be nice but given sony's history for the last couple of playstations i don't think it's going to be true if it is true it's going to be something where they want you to rebuy all the old games that's the only way i can see them more on board because i know they want money and they they want to keep playstation going because it's their most successful thing 
damn it. That's why I said though too, at this point, yeah, it is only a rumor. Yeah, screw you, reptile. I'm angry now. <laughs> Time for me to go in go in for the kill. What are you gonna do, Jade? Just stand there? Sure what she was gonna do. It's okay, I took care of Reptile last time with little health, but it didn't work that time. <laughs> Damn. This endurance round is going to be the tough, toughest. Superb. But I think I can get it. I almost got Jade taken care of now. I spoke too soon. Which difficulty? Um, this is the, 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 the novice tower. I said before, I don't really know for sure if I don't think it changes the difficulty of the fighters. I think it just adds, I could be wrong, I think it just adds more fighters that you have to fight. Like more singles fights and then more endurance fights. But I could be wrong. This one out of the three classic Mortal Kombat games, this one was always kind of my least favorite, so probably the one I played the least. Although I know I had problems, but in a way I kind of prefer like, like mid, not midway, um, well I guess NetherRealm Studios now, they consider Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 to be the definitive version of Mortal Kombat 3. But part of me always liked the Mortal Kombat trilogy better just because it had, you know, all of the fighters from all three games even though I know it still had its problems well done. Well done. come on gotta stay on him Oh, I'll say it's one to one, so. Is Sub Zero your favorite character? Overall, definitely, yeah. Partly because I like blue, partly because I always liked his freezing ability. Thought I could get her with an uppercut. Damn, couldn't hit her anything there. Yeah, there you go. Although I like... In this this game, I like the version of green they have for Reptile. I like his green color. Reptile wins. What's your favorite Mortal Kombat? Fight. Out of the classics, definitely two. Overall... I don't know, it's kind of tough. Cause I like Mortal Kombat 2, but Mortal Kombat 9 is also a really great game. It was like, almost in a way, an ultimate Mortal Kombat trilogy that because it retold the stories of the first three games, it had 
pretty much everybody from the first three games, plus a few added fighters. I thought pretty good fighting mechanics, some fun fatalities. So, it's a tough choice overall. Definitely Mortal Kombat 2 for the classics. So far for the more modern games, it's uh, Mortal Kombat 9. As for when they stopped making arcade releases with Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance through Armageddon, I never played those, so I can't say either way. I kind of drifted off from Mortal Kombat during that period. I think I might get this. I've got him cornered. <laughs> nice. My last chance for a fatality, and I still screw it up. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 4, it's kind of like in its own little thing, too. I know a lot of people complain it was the first time they tried doing the non digitized characters like this. They went digital sprites. Damn. Mataro just smacked me around. Round two, fight. Queen B, thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having yourself a good day. But to me, like Mortal Kombat 4 in terms of gameplay, I think it was fast and it had some fun. So I don't think that was a horrible game either. Favorite franchise? Ah, uh, yeah, it's definitely yeah. Mortal Kombat series is my favorite fighting game franchise. I know some prefer Street Fighter, some Tekken. You got Soul Calibur. But yeah, Mortal Kombat's for me. In fact, I never even played a Tekken or a Soul Calibur game myself. Why can't I freeze? I don't know. Round two, fight. Yeah, I beat the arcade ladder earlier for Mortal Kombat 1. I called it because I just couldn't get past Shang Tsung. I mean, I probably would eventually, but I wasted too much time. I wanted to at least try to fit in all three games for the stream. So I called it on Mortal Kombat 2, but I got to Shang Tsung. But uh, how are you doing, Queen Bee? Oh. I wasn't ready, Mataro. Hey, I finally got a... Oh. Okay. See, that's how unfamiliar I am with this game. My project freezing projectile immediately just bounced right off of Mataro and reflected onto me. Alright, so it looks like we're doing this the old-fashioned way. All fists, no special attacks. Ha! I'll uppercut you in the face. How do you like that, big guy? Yeah, there you go. Three in a row. Got him. What was that? I missed the digitized characters. I love watching interviews and behind the scenes stuff. And the lore is awesome, too. Oh, yeah. When they put this collection together, I actually, I've seen pictures of it. They did start an HD... Why, why did it in the freeze? You can't do the freeze. They started doing an HD collection of the classic Mortal Kombat games. At one point, that was they were working on it. I've seen pictures. They had new, new performers, and I assume probably recreated outfits. I don't know, the originals, if they survived. But even then, they'd probably tailor to fit the old people. But they were having, obviously, new people because the originals are too old. And they were going to do the same techniques but recreate these old games in HD. And at some point, the plug got pulled on that. I don't know why. Yeah, but I... Yeah. I was like, wait for him to teleport or jump in and uppercut him. But that would have been kind of cool, but... Only one thing I can think of was they said that maybe 
using this technique, it just didn't look as good in HD. Maybe that's why it was abandoned, I don't know. Yeah, come on, big guy. No, damn your tail. All right, one to one. I can take you down, Motaro. Oh, I thought he was going to be close enough for an uppercut. <laughs> That stock footage sound though, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised they probably like at least the sound effects. You know, you probably could recycle them from the original game. Fight. But yeah, I'm not sure, yeah, what why why the reason it got the plug pulled, but I you know if you Google it, it was I guess somebody that was involved with it did tweet out some pictures that they did have some actors and they started shooting stuff. I mean, it was the, only, the only two reasons was either it just wasn't working out in HD or, you know, WB Games who would have been footing the bill now that they own NetherRealm Studios, which is basically what's left of Midway. They must have not liked how the product was coming along or somebody along the lines just said, hey, you know, this isn't worth the money. And they're like, oh, let's just repackage the old games again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can sweep kick him, though. Motaro wins. Sub Zero. Round one. Fight. Ah, I was expecting to start off with a little tail whip. How did I get an uppercut from there? <laughs> that was luck, I think. Wins. Round two. Fight. No, come on. His grabbing punch there is probably the worst attack I think he has. The most damaging one. Wins. At that time he spammed it a lot more. Zero. I've got to keep my distance and try to get him when he either teleports or jumps Fight. in. Not like that. <laughs> What the hell? Wins. That's twice though that like I should have got him Round two. with an uppercut. Fight. Like that. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. No. Luck, luck. Thank you so much for the uh, streak. The streak. <laughs> Not even fit into what I'm saying. The work. I'm thinking in my head about like a losing streak. Round one. Fight. Mm, I was hoping I could get him with a kick there. Damn. Wins. I just missed everything. Fight. Stop with your fireball. He was laying off for a second. <laughs> hey, because he knew, like, yeah, all I need is just one good hit, so I'll wait for, you know, toy with him for a little bit. Stop that. Oh. 
Yeah, here comes the pain, definitely. Fight. Yes, 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 no. Not good. Not good. <laughs> At least I did some kind of damage. Just not as much as he did. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's good, that's good. That's not good. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't care if it's a sloppy win, a win is a win. Fight. Oh. I think I got him angry. <laughs> but if he's teleporting like crazy. Yeah, I think this round is his. Takes the lead. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Taro wins. Sub Zero. Oh, nice opening. I was expecting that. <laughs> He's just like, no, you ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Punches me out of the sky. I had the sound effect. He went to shoot his fireball, but somehow it got off screen. <laughs> It never came at me. Uh, maybe. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> my, sw my slide kick hit. If he didn't do the sweep of his tail, I would have won that fight. Or not that round, at least. Not the fight. I don't think I won a round, did I? If I won a round and I still could have won that, oh. One fight. That's something, if I can, oh no. I was working last time to do a sweep kick and then hit him with a, at least a little two hit combo out of it. Like that. Caught you there, buddy. I still have a chance to get this. Oh, yes. Oh. I think I can get him though. Sub -zero. I think I'm starting to work out how to handle him. Round one. Fight. Gotcha. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I do like getting punched in the face. I know I sure don't like it. <laughs> Sub Zero wins. <laughs> Round two. Fight. <laughs> Oh, come on, I didn't get the uppercut. Maybe, maybe. Nope. <laughs> as soon as he grabbed me, I was like, no, I, I, I knew my health was low enough that I wasn't going to survive that hit. One to one, though. If only I knew more buttons on the combo. Nope. Oh. Wins. Sub Zero. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Nah. wins. Round <laughs> two. Shake my fist at you, Motaro. I could have got him there. He just looked like he was just standing there for a second. It's like part of it is RNG too. When he teleports, when he does a lot of stuff. And where he teleports to as well. Sub bosses were always harder that yeah. Well, that's what I've been saying this whole playthrough. I said that these, you know, arcade games were designed for you to keep pumping in coins into the machine. They weren't designed really for you to beat them in one playthrough. They wanted you just to keep pumping, keep pumping, keep pumping. Fight. Nice, 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 nice. No. Mm -hmm. wins. And as tough as he is, Shao Kahn can perhaps be tougher. Fight. Sub Zero has Scorpion stance. Yeah. Well, that's because when they did Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, like they originally they didn't have any masked ninjas. They kind of threw them in when they did, did the revision for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So they didn't put as much effort into them. Round two. Fight. Like Reptile, Rain, and I think Ermac all share the same stance as well. Motaro wins. And I think Noob Sabat, when they got out of the Mortal Kombat trilogy, he was given the Scorpion stance with the hand by the head going like that. So zero. Round one, fight! 
That was a weak opening on my part. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm trying to do like a stick and move strategy. Keep on the distance until he jumps towards me. Or try to catch him when he teleports in too. But sometimes I kind of, yeah, I move in. Jackson Katana, kind of too. It's a popular fight stance, I suppose. Yeah. The Jax? Oh yeah, oh yeah. He kind of her arms lower, but in this game, what about Jax? Yeah, I didn't even realize that Jax has that up his head. You know, I never noticed that so in this game. I know Mortal Kombat 2, He was just kind of like. Hands to the side, well you can't see the camera angle. I would always imagine more Jax is probably more of a boxer stance rather than a uh, like a martial arts stance. Maybe just trying to mix him a little bit with Balrog from Street Fighter. Round two, fight. Nope. Who's the worst character in your opinion? Uh, there's been, been some pretty lame ones I've seen from like the game, like during that period where I stopped playing. And uh, was it Deadly Alliance to Armageddon? So, but out of the classic games, possibly Cabal. Not to say he's necessarily bad, but I know some people say Striker. He could be weak too. Yeah, since the uh, third error, Jack's got the boxing stance. Sub -Zero. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. Yeah, original error, second error, and then current error, or third error. But, yeah, possibly either Cabal or Striker. From Modern Era... I don't know, like a lot of the newer ones in Mortal Kombat X, to me... Like, Cassie Cage, she kinda... You know, stood out a little bit. But like with a Kung Lao's little brother, whoever it was, or cousin, whatever, and um, Kenshi's son, to me, they just didn't really connect as much. Well, 3D, I guess, can be like that, that, that second one, that middle era where they tried to do the 3D fighting where you can walk around the whole arena kind of thing, I guess. But uh, when I mean like third era, I meant, you know, you have like your original. The Mortal Kombat 1 to... I would include Mortal Kombat 4, really, but like I said that can kind of maybe fit its own little area. The second era would be when they started just doing only home console, abandoned the arcade, Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance through Armageddon, 
and then the modern era would be, or I said like the third era, that's, uh, Mortal Kombat 9 to Mortal Kombat 11. Almost if you ignore 4, you can look at it as 3 sets of trilogies, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Deadly Alliance, Deception, Armageddon, and then Mortal Kombat uh, 9, 10, and 11. Sub -Zero. Round one, fight! <laughs> I always hated Ermac's design in the later games, only like his classic design. Has some neat unused classic concept designs. I didn't really mind either him or Rain, their re redesigns, because it didn't make sense why they were dressed in that ninja garb. Well, I guess it still doesn't kind of make sense with Reptile, but in the modern games, they kind of dropped that too. Fight. But, like, this was supposed to be, for Sub-Zero, a Lin Kuei outfit with Scorpion's clan, the Shirai Ryu. They were actually supposed to be, they were originally Lin Kuei who broke off and decided to do their own thing. And they took the same outfit, but the color of yellow, as a way to, like, mock them. And that's why it was, like, the rivalry between the Lin Kuei and the Shirai Ryu. But to have like, like a red version, you know, green with reptile, purple with rain. There wasn't really much with that except it was just their way of doing the palette swap ninjas because it's easy just to change the color. And then boom, you got yourself a new character. <laughs> But yeah, the newer games, so that's why I didn't really have a problem with them kind of abandoning, like, the, like they're still mass ninjas, but, you know, giving them each more unique designs that were different from Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Although I do like having the classic skins also as something, an option to choose, even if it's downloadable content. No, no, no. Out of the multicolored ninja suits, though, I always like the Mortal Kombat 3 version the best. Like the, the panels, instead of solid cloth for the colors, stripes going down the shoulders. I like the panels. I always thought that was cool. The ninja suits are genius, simple, very effective. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not discounting that. I mean, yeah, like back in the day, it was, you know, you pay one guy, Fight. do some moves in one suit, you just change the color, and boom, you got two characters, or three technically, cause, well, I would say Reptile was a hidden character in the first game, but he didn't have any unique moves. But at a certain point, I mean... You had in the first game, and essentially, you know, one guy, one outfit for two different characters. Then in Mortal Kombat 2, you had three because Reptile was a playable character with his own moveset. You know, by the time you got to the Mortal Kombat trilogy version of Mortal Kombat 3, you had, it's a different actor, but still one guy for classic Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Reptile, Ermac, Rain, Noob Sabat, Human Smoke. And it's just like, like at that point, it it, it kind of defeated creativity and became a little more like lazy, I guess. That you're really trying to, you had a good idea, but then you try milking it too much. Sub Zero. Round one, fight. So that's why, again, like I said, that I, I think like coming up with the more unique designs were a little better. But they did it with like Cyrax Sector and Robot Smoke too. That's the same thing where it was one suit and they would just change the colors. 
When it came time to Mortal Kombat 9, each one of the robots had its own unique little bit of design. They weren't just color swaps of the same design. All the MK palette swaps got more personality with them through the whole Street Fighter roster. Yeah. Ooh. I would say if I can keep him cornered, maybe that would be a good thing. I don't think I've won a round in quite a while either. Nope. Not winning this round, that's for sure. But you were possibly starting to go down that road with the, the women too, because you had Katana and Melina. Then you were adding in Jade. Like even in this game, it's still, yeah, just the same person with different colors. So if they had Scarlet that didn't officially get added, she was a rumor, but didn't get officially added until Mortal Kombat 9. That, uh, you know, they could have kept doing the same thing, just kept just like, whoa, what, what new color can we pull out this time to create a new character? Where are you going? <laughs> Ooh, when did I get an uppercut in there? Wins. Which is the same because I really like Ryu and Ken. Yeah. Fight. Well, they were body-wise, yeah, they were just palette swaps. I, probably the same face when you look at the model, but different hairstyles at least. What's kind of different than Mortal Kombat though, like Ryu and Ken and Street Fighter had the exact same moveset. They played exactly the same. At least in Street Fighter 2, I don't know about later games. So even though they, they, they look different, they played exactly the same. So that, that's definitely something different how I'm talking about... Um, you know, the, the ninjas here, the, the different colors, but at least they gave them different movesets. What do you think about the Mortal Kombat 11 character designs? I haven't seen too many. But from what I can see, it's like especially Johnny Cage is very consistent with Mortal Kombat 11. But from what I can see, it looks like it's going to be even better. Visually, Mortal Kombat 10 was so impressive visually. And this looks like it's going to be even better. Wins. Round two. Fight. Ethnicity swaps. Oh, I haven't seen too much about that. Like I said, I haven't seen many character designs. I saw the Johnny Cage video. I saw... I think I saw one with, um... As, like, all dialogues with Johnny Cage and Cassie Cage. I saw, like, a video on that. But I haven't looked up too many videos myself. I want to try to keep some surprises if I can. Fight. And I, I saw the, the story mode trailer. Oh, I thought he was going to be a little closer to me. No. Motaro wins. Johnny Cage looks like John Oliver. What's up with that? I'm not sure who John Oliver is. Or at least it's not clicking in my head. Starting with Mortal Kombat 9, though, I didn't like... Johnny having Johnny tattooed across his stomach. I mean, I guess it kind of fits with his arrogance that he'd have, he'd be the kind of person to have his own name tattooed on his body. But that was something that was never in any of the designs in a classic game, so that's always something I didn't really like. I meant Ryu and Ken being race swaps. Oh. Uh, I don't know, like, I, I I had some fun with Street Fighter, but I was never really too huge into it, so I don't have, like, as big of a connection to that as with Mortal Kombat. So, you know, whatever they've done with Street Fighter, it, like, it doesn't really bother me. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, I just said about, like, Johnny Cage, about having Johnny tattooed on his stomach. If they did something like that with, say, like, Ken from Street Fighter, you know, he had no shirt on and he had Ken tattooed across his stomach, I wouldn't affect me the same. Wins. Round three. That late night showed you. Oh, okay. Uh, 
don't know. I know I am kind of iffy. I was iffy about Ronda Rousey playing Sonya Blade, but then when I saw the trailer and I saw some 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 stuff a little bit with Sonya Blade too, you know, uh, Ronda might not be too bad. Jeez, this might be another one I might not, not get to. <laughs> come on, come on, big guy. Nope. Damn. Wins. That uppercut didn't get connected. Got my use of their voice, too. It's not her voice. I was more concerned with her performance. Because I'm mostly familiar with Ronda. Like, I, I, you know, obviously, you know, most people probably have heard of Ronda Rousey. But I'm more familiar with her performance in the WWE and her doing the promos on live TV aren't that great. But like I said, I guess the difference, though, being live to having... You know, somebody who's actually of like a proper director to actually direct you and get the lines out of you, so. I mean, maybe no matter how many takes it takes, you, you can, if you have a good director, you can get some at least decent takes out of, I'd say, most people. Nope. I don't want to be the one getting cornered. <laughs> Montaro wins. But other than that, I don't get the hate. I don't know. I, I, oh, I don't want to do this. Hopefully I didn't screw up my arcade ladder. Damn. Sub -Zero. Sonya. I guess I just have to... Scarlet looks really good with her short hair. I don't think I've seen her yet in the new game. Or maybe, maybe she was in the, the teaser trailer. The story trailer. I don't have a second controller set up, so. Hopefully, I didn't screw up the arcade ladder. <laughs> I keep thinking, like the previous games, that it goes right back to the character select screen, and I want to keep hitting over to go to, you know, start moving to Sub Zero, and you have the option the like the arcade ladder one on one, and then the two multiplayer ones. Fight. Why did you pause? Oh, you know what? It's because there's no second controller for the second person and it expects there to be one. I totally screwed this one up. Alright, 
Sorry about that. So let's see, just hurry up and kick his ass and hopefully we can get back to where we were on the arcade ladder. But I was saying with Rhonda, my issue is I just don't like stuff being handed to her because of who she is. You know, yeah, she she did good in the UFC. She brought a lot of attention, but that doesn't mean that, you know, then everything should just be handed to her, like, especially in the WWE. Well done. You know, she didn't have any wrestling experience. She bypassed NXT Developmental. Her first televised match was at WrestleMania. Her second match, she won the women's title. And that just bothers me. You know, somebody who's gotten passed over. Sonya wins. Flawless. Myself, I just don't like that. That it's like somebody comes in and in less time just gets... Sorry. Hey, hand and stuff. So that's just my issue with Rhonda. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is it still on two player? Fight. <laughs> that might be an unspectacular end to the stream if I have totally screwed this up. If I can't get back to where I was in the arcade ladder. I know if I exit the game and get back in, that's just going to reset everything. I'm going to let the countdown go. Did I hit something beforehand? I don't know. At least not mine. Let the countdown go and then it shouldn't have player two continue. Oh crap, but I'm Sonya. Well, Fight. I know we are just talking about like Sonya and Ronda. That's okay, at least I got back to Motaro. I have not completely blundered this run. As it'd be funny if the first try I get it with Sonya. And my so-called blunder was actually a good thing. Not pick two on two combat. <laughs> Sub Zero Round One Fight. Ooh, stop teleporting <laughs> when I want to hit you. One to one, come on. Round three, fight. No, no. I was gonna say for a second it was looking promising for me. 
No, 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 no. No. Maybe, maybe, yes. Zero wins. <laughs> Finally. Round one, fight. This ain't back. I don't remember him saying back. Waiting for him to do the, like the rising shadow thing. Can I freeze him? His, uh, his little rising shadow attack. Come on, at least like two out of the three games I need to beat. Oh, you're just standing there. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't I uppercut him? Ah, right, so he can be frozen. That's good to know. I can freeze him before he gets up. <laughs> I gotta be fast on the freeze. Nice, that's what I tried to do. Okay, that time. But I did that. If I can freeze him before he gets up, I can cheese the fight on instead of him cheesing me. I start off with a slide. Round one. Fight. Oh. Come on, do the Yeah, that. Oh. Oh, I still got him. Yo, what are you laughing at, Shao Kahn? You're like, oh, this is too easy for me. <laughs> Alright, what if I try switch up to Scorpion? When he spams and stuff, if I can hit him with a teleport. Yeah, like that. I don't know. Fight. Nah. I tried younger sub zero. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, trying to catch him with their uppercut with that. that trying to see if I can block, and then when he does a shadow uppercut, catch him. Damn. I remember Shao Kahn being that aggressive. Oh, yeah, I guess so, but. Oh, that would have been an opportunity to freeze. I, win. I can't get it fast enough. Fight. Yeah, like that. Mm. 
Sub -Zero. I think my fingers are starting to get sore. Fight. Almost. I still got an advantage though. Oh, come on. All I just needed was one hit on him. You're still trying to win. <laughs> You're still trying to win? Yeah, absolutely I am. Sub-Zero. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Ah, so I gotta get the freeze at the beginning. Or at least like that. Where I've gotta be at the advantage. Cause especially if we do a trade, ice for like a little green fireball thing. That was luck. Like this. Now I have the advantage. Oh, damn it. How did I not get the uppercut? After the first one, I should have moved in a just a step closer. Like that. Why'd I try for a jump kick? Oh, I missed the uppercut. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I have a chance to win. Fingers just aren't working the way I want them to right now. Round one. Fight. That was a squash. Sub Zero. Round one. Fight. Come on. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. I got one round down. I can pull this clutch win and get it. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, just not this time. <laughs> Couple more tries, and I'm gonna call it on this one too. Fight. 
Damn it. Yeah, I think my fingers are starting to go numb from all the button presses. It's not working the way I want it to be. All right, we got this try. I'm gonna do two more after it. Alright, so let's try one of the two. I don't think I'm getting at least this round. <laughs> that round's a bust. Last try. Win or lose, and then we go on a raid. Sub Zero. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Damn it, do the freeze. This I'm not gonna get it. Nope. All right. Well, I gave it a good shot. I had some fun. It was good reminiscing. I want to thank everybody for showing up today. We are going to run some quick credits, and then we are gonna raid someone. Oh. Helps oh, go to the right screen. Again, thank everyone for showing up. Let's go find someone to raid. Uh, I just raided him yesterday. Uh, He always stops by, gives me a work. We're going to raid the Goose Abides. He is currently playing Players Unknown Battleground. Always oh, seems a cool guy. 
a lot of times gives me a work, so we're going to give him some love back. And I will see you all tomorrow. Possibly, I might do my first stream on Mixer tomorrow. If not, Twitch, but either way, it'll be around 4 p.m. ish standard time, the usual time. But it, I might give Mixer a try for the first time tomorrow. But anyways, as of right now, let's go send some love to the Goose Abides. And one way or the other, I will see you again tomorrow.